Hi, I'm Miss Hearn. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to talk about writing the prime factorization of a given natural number. But before we start, we need to remember what we mean by a prime number. A prime number is any number that's only divisible by itself in one. For example, the number two is the smallest natural number that's a prime. It's divisible exactly by one in itself. Other primes include three, five, seven, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, 29, 31, 37, and so on. I can't make a complete listing of all the prime numbers because there are an infinite number of prime numbers. But we will be using most of these smaller primes as we try to construct prime factorizations. The fundamental theorem of arithmetic says that every natural number can be expressed in one and only one way as a product of primes, if the order of the factors is disregarded. This unique product of primes is called the prime factorization of the natural number. For example, the number 6 can be written as the product 2 times 3, where 2 and 3 are prime numbers whereas the number 24 can be written as 2 times 2 times 2 times 3, or using exponential notation, 2 to the third times 3. Let's practice finding the unique prime factorization of a given composite number. By the way, composite number just means that it's not prime. So let's find the prime factorization of 240. We're going to do this in two different ways, first using the latter method. So all this means is that we're going to divide the number 240 by prime numbers and see which goes in evenly. But we're gonna do so in a way that's organized and it's quickest. So first of all, you need to know your prime numbers. 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, and so on. Write down the first few prime numbers to keep them in mind. And then you're going to divide by the smallest one first. 240 is an even number, so it's divisible by two. I'm gonna write my division symbol upside down and write the answer on the bottom rather than the top because it's just gonna make it easier to um, work through the problem. So two goes into 240 120 times. Then you ask yourself, does two go into 120? Yes, 120 is an even number. It's divisible by two, so we're gonna divide by two again. Two goes into 120 60 times. Does two go into 60? Yes, it does, so we're gonna divide by two again. And we're gonna keep doing that until we can't divide by two anymore. Two goes into 60 30 times. Two goes into 30 15 times. Ah, now 15 is not an even number. Two will not go into 15. So we're gonna move on to the next prime number, three, and see if that goes into 15 evenly, which it does. So we divide three into 15, which gives us a five. Now, notice that in this case, we got another prime off of our list, the number five. When that happens, we're going to stop. 240 then is going to be equal to the product of all of the prime factors that we divided into it plus that number five. So 240 is gonna be two times two times two times two times three times five. But we prefer to write this in exponential notation with an exponent on the two. So two is multiplied by itself four times. So we write that as two to the fourth times three times five. This is the prime factorization of 240. Another method that's commonly used is the um, tree diagram method. Using a tree format, what we do is we break off branches of 240. Now for this method, you don't have to use prime numbers, so that's nice. You can use any factors of 240 that multiply together to give you that number. So for example, you might immediately write it as 10 times 24. And then you continue to break up each number into its factors until you have only prime factors. For example, 10 breaks up into two times five, and I would stop there because two only is divisible by itself in one, and five is only divisible by itself in one. So these branches have ended. 
24 breaks up into 3 times 8. 3 is prime, so that branch has reached its end, but 8 is still divisible by numbers other than itself and 1. In particular, it's divisible by 2 and 4. Now 2 is a prime, so that branch is going to stop, but 4 can continue to be factored into 2 times 2. But those are both primes. Now there are no more branches that can be broken down any further. So we're going to just look at the numbers, the prime numbers that are all circled at the ends of the branches, and we see that 240 again has 1, 2, 3, 4 factors of 2, so 2 to the 4th, a factor of 3, and a factor of 5. You have to include the ends of all the branches. So 240 is 2 to the 4th times 3 times 5. Let's find the prime factorization of 300. I'm going to use the latter method because it seems like my students like that one best. I'm going to jot down the first few prime numbers and then just keep those in mind. So I'm going to start with the smallest. 2 goes into 300 150 times. 150 is also an even number, so I'll divide by 2 again, and that gives me 75. Now that's no longer an even number. Now you don't have to go to the 3 next. You can go to any prime number, but I like to go in order just to make sure I don't miss anything. 3 goes into 75 25 times. And 25 is not divisible by 3, so we're going to move on to the next prime, which is the number 5. 5 goes into 25 5 times, and again, once you reach a prime, you're going to stop. So now we just look at all the divisors and the last prime, and we say that 300 is equal to 2 twice, so 2 squared, times 3 times 5 twice. And that's the prime factorization of 300. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up. That helps other students to find the video.